Welcome back to another episode of It's Giving Sucks. Today is episode 14 or 13 or 15 because I don't know if I'm putting the other one out, but it's okay because we have other to talk about. The news has been crazy this week. I know. Oh, man. Lots okay. of stuff happening. So much stuff. So today we have some updates. You've been sending me some stuff about Riley. I've been like uh, voluntarily disassociating. So if you want to fill me in on those and then I can catch you up to date on P. Diddy. Okay. And there's one little update with the Madeline Soto case. Ugh, okay. It's nothing crazy. It, it, it's a little bit crazy. Okay. But yeah. So fill me in. What do we know? So his body was found. Uh, he was found nine miles down the river. Nine yeah. miles. Crazy. He was found with no shirt. He was found with no wallet and no boots. No he pants. Was, he just had his pants. No. Oh, he had no pants either? No shirt. Rewind. Rewind. Shirt only. Okay. Yeah. So found by the dam. The other weird thing is when they did the initial autopsy, they're saying that no foul play. It seems like it was an accident. Mm -hmm. But there was no water found in his lungs in the autopsy, in the initial one. So they're saying that he was dead before he even went in the water because if he was alive at all, he would have had water in his lungs. I saw that. So now the family wants to get a second autopsy done. And you know what? They absolutely Absolutely. should. I think everyone should. I mean, I just don't trust anybody. Me neither. Never mind government officials i really am now that i'm like it's kind of coming together the place where the credit card was found i think something happened oh because think about it if the wallet's gone what if the card something happened and someone tried to rob him or something and the card flew out of the wallet because where's the wallet where's his clothes they also didn't find his phone did not find his phone but he still had his apple watch on like nothing is after he made the call after right. he made that call right by that river After spot. he saw the police officer was coherent enough to sober up. Have a whole conversation. Oh, I'm doing good. How you, like, that just blew my mind because he does not appear f***ed up in any sort of no. way at all. Zero. Even if he was messed up, whatever. Like, when you see a cop and you know to like, oh, get your shit together. That means you weren't that f***ed up. Because when you're like on a sick, sick one. You don't care you don't, what's around. You're not, you know, no. Like, I, never mind. I'm going to get in a personal story there. But <laughs> I, I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, I've gotten an assault on an officer before. Fine. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. My point <laughs> is that he had the wherewithal to sober up yeah. and have a reasonable conversation. And understand what the cop was saying to him. And not even slur a single word. He understood the cop. He understood the <laughs> question. It's weird. I have some thoughts. Was that the updates? Pretty much. Pretty the, the, okay. the family is going to run a second autopsy, so we're probably going to wait on that. Um, no water in the lungs, and then he was found with, yeah. without all of his stuff. Okay so, okay, so I did catch up on all of that then. My thoughts with the condition of the body, where it was, the whole clothing aspect. Have you ever jumped off a boat or dock into a lake or yes. a pool with your clothes on? Yes. You lose What's it. the first thing that comes off? The top. Straight up above your head. Uh, Beavis and Butthead style. Yeah. You lose clothing, but the boot, like boots that come up, like cowboy boots, cowboy boots, size 15 with socks, wet. Have you ever taken off wet pants? Impossible. So you're telling me, this is what you're telling me. The river current was so strong that it unbuttoned, unzipped, de-shoed, de-socked and took off his pants, left the shirt, left the Apple Watch and didn't get a drop of water in his lungs. That's what you guys are trying to tell me. It's weird. It's really fucking weird. And the family has been, they've been like thankful to the law enforcement, but switching it up to like, this isn't actually making sense. And good. Like I said, all families should be doing this because we know from tons of stories that law enforcement fumbles investigations all of the time. They mishandle evidence. They miss evidence completely. They, or they throw it out Or they on throw purpose. it out. Oh my God. I was listening to the 911 call of when they, when the person found Riley's body. Yes. And he said that he had to move a log from the top of him to make sure that it was the body. Did you hear that? No. I guess there's a company that was like working along the river and the gentleman sees what he thinks is the body, moves the log. Okay, it's definitely a body. Calls in. I think this is Riley. And then the lady's like, are you sure? And he's like, well, I had to move the log to make sure it was a body, but it's a male. This is what, what he it looks, looks like. like. And I'm, you know, yeah. Pretty sure. But why the log? Like the log? Like what? And a log big enough to cover a 6'5 person. 
because the 911 dispatcher asked and said like is he submerged like is he in the water is he like half on the bank and he was like no he's like in the water so it wasn't like he's half on the shore half on the thing and nine miles traveled nine miles and you still have your shirt on and not a drop of water in your lungs there is a thing i because i was watching this other podcast there is a thing called dry drowning okay it's very rare and if you're drinking, it's like pretty much impossible. Interesting. And that's essentially you drown and the, your things closed up and you didn't get water in your lungs. It has happened. But the likelihood is but he was very. he face down, wasn't he? Wasn't his back up? Do we know? To me, I'm, what I'm envisioning was face down. So, but that could be other things how the body rises like that could be a lot of things and and i don't quote me i that's just what i'm thinking i remember from his description in the 911 call dry drowning is a thing it's just not likely and he was drinking which also makes it even more unlikely to happen yeah i didn't know dry drowning was a thing me neither what is it you were you drown but there's no water you like you didn't like take on water that's so weird yeah i don't know i just heard about it uh, okay, maybe he if he was maybe like unconscious and then fell in the water, like there would still be some sort of water. In and your to lung. your point earlier, where the credit card was found, like wh- if that's where like this crime scene happened, wouldn't we have like a hair, a speck, a fucking receipt, a, a blood drop, like anything, just a card? And there was no physical marks on his body. I'm pretty sure what they said. There was nothing like you know, no like blunt force right, trauma, no, bullet, no yes, no visible physical signs yes. on his body yes. of anything happening and someone asked in the podcast i was watching what like what are some signs or like what is something that someone can like pass away from that's not like a visible symptom head trauma head trauma yep i said chloroform or poison you don't see that until a you go in somewhere. there a what a clot blood clot so there's things right I know they're going to look at a toxicology report, too, because that was not done yet. And I know the oh. family with the second autopsy is getting a toxicology as well. Good. Absolutely. Interesting. Absolutely. I just would have liked to hear from the people he was with why he was kicked out of the bar. We still don't know that. We still don't have footage from the bar. And is that bar liable? Because this person was intoxicated. They kicked him out. And then this accident happened. So and supposedly didn't let the friends go with him either. Or they according chose to one sto- allegedly according to one of the stories. Well, I like want to hear from these brothers, uh, his fraternity brothers. Like what? I'm still telling you, man. I think there's something up with these fraternity brothers because when he got kicked out of the bar and like, okay, maybe you got separated for a second. That was my friend, and he wasn't out front, and he was supposedly like that. I wouldn't have gone back in the bar. I Go know. Go look for your friend. Guys because are guess different, what? though. Because guess what? If they would have followed him for maybe like 30 seconds, they probably would have found him. Well, he called them and was like, oh, I'm heading back to the hotel. So, like, you know, it's hard. And they're dudes. And they're, if everyone's drunk and they're there to have a good time, like, I get it. Or do they let him go for a reason? I don't know. I want to hear from them. Damn. And I want to hear from the girl that he supposedly called to, right? Because or he texted? texted oh, girl, yeah, with the, the LOL, with the, the law, mm. whatever it said. The weird jumble. They're like, it's slang. I was like, no, he was drunk. He was trying to put LOL. He wasn't putting slang. But it's so weird because, like, the text, he seems drunk, but then he has a conversation with the cop. He doesn't seem drunk. I seem drunk in my texts. Me too. Very unwell. I know. I mean, you you know my texts. Yeah. We have to, like, you know, translate and transcribe. So, whatever. I'm just saying. We're thinking. I'm just thinking thinking the friends are a little sketchy. Something's up. I was watching. I know. I was watching this cop podcast. He's, like, retired or whatever. It's called Off the Cuff. It was pretty good, but. That's what they do when they investigate. They sit, they hypothesize, they come up with these theories. And a lot of people in the true crime space are like, that's so harmful and that's so dangerous. But in reality, like, that's how you think bigger. That's how you maybe get a different perspective of like what has happened to lead to X, Y, and Z. And it's not like we're like out here saying this is a conspiracy and this is like what I know happened. It's like these are things that from my perspective and life experience, I'm seeing could be possible to X, Y, and Z. So that made me feel a little bit better about what I'm doing here because we're not just reporting the story. We're having dialogue about like, what did you see in this situation? What did you think about uh, Jen Soto, right? Like we're just having this open um, dialogue and conversation. 
and it's therapeutic for me. I'm, I hope it's not harmful to anybody, but I think we all just need to think bigger because if we just listen to the first autopsy, we just listen to what the detectives and the police and the bar say, we might not ever really have justice or the full picture. Absolutely. And think about all these other crazy stories that we know of, like, everything like i'm i can't remember the um the one woman's name who started dating the guy and then she thought her children were demons so she killed the two younger children uh, chad and Lori daybell yes oh my god that case gets me so fucked up think about all the crazy shit like no one if, would believe that exactly like if you would have told me that this woman thought her children were demons and like never she, yeah never. trying to exercise like you i would have been like no, no you're fucking no 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 dog like, if you just looked at it at the surface level you'd be like well, he killed the kids and did not in the backyard or whatever. Yeah. But, but crazy the wife, shit. the brother, the husband. All of it. Crazy all for shit God. Has, crazy in shit the name has of, happened. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Had me so sick. And also because it's tied to Arizona where they originally, before they went. And yeah. like, I know the roads. I know, I know it. And the surviving son. Can you imagine how that. Uh, did you watch heart. him in the dark? I did. Breaks my fucking heart, dude. Another update I wanted to talk about to kind of segue to the next topic and like rest in peace, Riley Strain. And yeah. I hope healing and like love for his mom. And she was just, I don't know if you saw her during the press conference, but she was just like, hold your baby. It's like extra tight tonight for me. And I hope they get justice. I hope they get answers. And I really do hope that they find out what happened to their son. Another update we got this week was all of the body cam footage from Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrand. Dude. Have you seen it? That poor fucking kid. I cannot. That shit is disgusting. It's giving the day bells. She thought her kid was a demon, right? It was a whole demon. Link. Well, they were like teaching them how to be in the truth. It's giving cult. It's giving no, mother 100%. of God. It's God mother. Mo mother. Mother. Mother God. God. Yes, it's giving that. <gasps> and I watched the body cam footage and these women are, were just so much worse than we thought. Like absolutely disgusting, vile. The EMTs were crying on the scene when they were treating the boy after he escaped. And just like the dad had no clue when they told the dad in the police station. He was like, what are you saying right now? Because. Things she, got so much worse after she, they divorced. They didn't divorce. Oh. Jody made the husband leave his wife, Ruby, for over a year with zero contact, but have a joint bank account, sign everything over to Ruby's name. That's what she does with th these men. I think and feel that she hates men and she has this like sick thing. power yes and she she gets the wife isolated from the man she tells the men you have a pornography addiction because you wanted your wife to wear lingerie that's disgusting and then he was so like brainwashed in the interview with the police he's like i love my wife i trust my wife i need to go get better that's why i haven't been with her at oh the house god and i guess that jody moved in with the frankies and was manipulative enough to separate Kevin, the husband, and Ruby from sleeping together, and Ruby would end up sleeping in the bed with Jody. Oh my god! Because she would see demons and need to, like uh, the whole thing, is just Imagine. the daybells. It's the daybells. They're probably reading from the same book. I remember watching the one footage too of like the kid. Is, this, is it the boy who escaped? He was sitting in the closet, or is that the other kid? So that was the daughter. Okay, the and daughter that shaved, broke my fucking. They heart shaved too. her head. That they she thought it was even... a boy because she was so malnourished and her head was shaved, and she was so scared to leave the closet. Yeah, hours, hours. Four They're trying hours. to give her food. They're trying to give her water. They're just like trying to show her just a little bit of love, and like she's just so shut down and broken. Can you like? Oh my god, this I is know. Just so heavy. I know. I couldn't even imagine. I couldn't even imagine. Thank God these children were found when these they were. These children though. are alive and these yep. monsters are behind bars. Yes. Thank God they're still alive because there's other children that were not alive. Again, Gabe, I know I bring this I know, up all Gabriel. the time. Gabriel, dude, I know. but that, that just. Oh I'll never god. forget. I will never forget him. That shit lives in my head like rent free. Like, and the, I, I'm going to cry right now. That is just so heartbreaking, dude. The whole. Just I was mind blown <laughs> to hear what he went through and the teachers at the school and, and just. So many people tried to to help him. And so with Ruby and Jody, they homeschooled. And then they also did like 
the whole brainwashing. Like you're bad. That's why you are doing this punishment to build yeah, and you character. Don't food and you don't. Yep. And what's even crazier is that she was a YouTuber with two million subs, broadcasting her crazy parenting tactics to everybody in the world. Well, you know what also fucks me up is all those two million subscribers ate that shit up. They loved it. They loved that shit. Sorry, but y'all are fucking. Just as shitty. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry, but you are. If you are subscribed to Eight Passengers, it's taken down now. But big side eye. Big and red eye. Big red. Big red eye. <laughs> big red eye. <laughs> big red flag, ma'am. Big old red eye. Oh, you know what we should cover real quick, though? The what? Ohio baby. What? The woman who left her baby in Ohio for 10 days while she went on vacation just for funsies. Excuse me? She had a 16-month-old baby. Decides one day she's just going to get up and go on vacation. Leaves the baby in the house by itself. Tells everyone around her that the baby's with, tells the man, the man, the man's the important part, right? She went to Costa Rica, I think. With a guy. With a guy. Left the baby. Told every, like told the guy that the baby was with the mom. Told her other family that she was with with other family members. She was so covered in feces. It was in her eyes. It was in her nose. It was on her fingernails. She was so emaciated. She died. Yeah. She's going to prison for life, but she wants to appeal it because she's mental illness is why she took her vacation. Bitch, we're all mentally ill. On one, le- to leave, one spectrum or another, we are. To leave a fucking baby, That is negligence. Dude. The one woman who was like doing a testimony in the court case, I think she was like something with children, like a pediatrician or sure. s- something in childcare. And she said like the months like, that baby was so heartbroken and like attention. And that's like when it's like really important for like yes, nurturing and love. Yes, bonding. yes, yes, yes. Just left in a fucking crib in its own shit. Its own shit. She left a couple bottles in the crib for it though. Here you go. Like it's going to be able to feed itself? Dude. What? I'm, I'm mind blown because there was. I'm getting something confused because there was another mom who went on vacation with a guy and then was like having her kids locked in the room or or at home. And they would like text her and ask to go to the bathroom. And she would say, yeah, hurry up. And you need to turn the lights off. And then they're like, mom, what's for dinner? And she's like, just eat candy. I'm sorry. I think I'm getting too many things confused here. But why is there so many? Why is there two? Why why is there two of the same thing, dude? And then there was another one that I saw. I I didn't click on it, but I saw the headline. It was like something at the beach. And there was like they put the baby in like the sand or like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Stop going on vacation. No vacations. How about no babies if you're no not going to take care of it? No babies. How about no vacations? You got me so Nobody's fucked. having fun. Nobody's having kids. You're, we're done. I swear. This is probably going to sound so fucked up for me to say, but if you don't have a certain IQ or mental capacity, you should not be having children. I'm sorry. Like, dear fucking God. Or like empathy, compassion. You don't got to be that smart to show somebody love. That, yeah. But if you were just that selfish and lack of just any care support love nurture for a, an animal looking a human. at you jen soto jen soto could never you could never babe mm. okay that gets me really upset right now i'm fired up right now isn't that disgusting it's that's 16 month like old. can they walk i don't know a lot about babies are they walking barely at that age I did feel- she crawl out of the crib no she was just in there like, what, did, what was the thought? What, what thought did this mom have to be She'd like? She'd take care of herself. She's good. Just feed yourself. Here's feed some yourself, bottles. Change your own diapers. But why not give it to the mom, or the family, the, the neighbor, the because police? Because she was having a mental breakdown. But had enough of Where a mental all to, to go to a vacation with her mans, dude. Book a flight, you get on a plane, so go up. through TSA, pack your bag, pull out your passport. There were so many stops. Bro, if I'm away from my dogs, you're the same. I'm like, what are these fuckers into? What are the fucking things? I gotta 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 go. They gotta go to the bathroom. Yup. Crazy. So how are you even having fun? Zero. Because you're a psycho. Yes. Zero remorse, empathy, no, thought, No, you are care, mentally concern. ill, baby girl. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. You definitely got that one in the yeah, bag. Yeah, but you can stand trial because you could stand at the fucking TSA check-in, couldn't you, yeah, ho? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm fired up right now. Dude. That one got me. Love my home state. Up. Shout out to Ohio for Ooh, you guys the- you guys got all the winners. It's the new Florida. 
Like Ohio and Florida just. You guys don't have gators though. No, we do not. Thank God. We have corn. Could you imagine? <laughs> just drop some gators in Ohio. We have scarecrows and corn. And Amish. Yeah, and Amish Cheers people. Cheers to the Amish. Thanks for your cheese. Thank you for Red Bull. <laughs> I'm so glad I took a break this week. Yeah. Deleted all my TikToks. She did get life in jail, but like I said, she's trying to peel that shit. I think she needs to sit in her own poop. Forever. For, forever. Eat it, bitch. Right all over your eyeballs. Like, you're disgusting. Eyeballs. In, her, in the baby's eyeballs, her mouth, her fingernails, because she's... Oh. Mm-hmm. And then she ended up dying... Because she wasn't able to feed herself. Couldn't, emaciated, couldn't eat, dehydrated. Severely dehydrated and, su- and starvation was their cause of death. Well, imagine walking into that scene. How did they, like, how did they? She, she comes got home back. and calls 911 and says her baby is dead. I have Ye- to go. Yo. Are you fucking kidding me? Comes back home. Hey, my baby's dead. I don't know what you happened. You bitch. The fuck? Surprise? Surprise. Hello? Girl. No, no, I gotta no. go. I gotta go. I gotta go? <laughs> Away? On a vacation. Yeah. But, but I don't will, leave your dogs to I, die. I, <laughs> literally, that's why I haven't left the country in nine years, because my dog. Absolutely. I went to Hawaii once in the last 10 years, and we had a sitter. We flew out a sitter, a family member, because Absolutely. we care. Yeah. We don't want our dogs and to we're die. we're doing that for our dogs. You can't do that for another human being that you personally chose to keep and take care of? It, ma'am. It, ma'am. It came out of there. Ma'am. It's yours. Ma'am. Can't get any clearer than that, honestly. Well, I'm, my day is ruined. Hopefully that lady's life is ruined. I hope she, yeah. Uh... Wow. She was already sentenced. Mm-hmm. Sentenced to life. So they didn't buy the mental mental illness. No, but they're gonna. They, do they but have death appealing. penalty in um, Ohio? No, hmm, that's a bummer. Bummer. Respectfully, Honestly, I feel like that's the easy way out. One hundred percent. But like, I don't know because I feel like with Stephen Stearns, like I'm glad that he's gonna fry. To be mm-hmm. honest, mm-hmm. I'm very because much he's fir- going straight to hell. Yeah, wherever. thank God the Florida has the death sentence because he's gonna hopefully fucking get it. They're going for it. One hundred percent. Or just based off the child charges. Yeah, and they haven't even haven't charged even him pegged him for the murder yet. Yeah, I'll give you the update for the Madeline Soto case, and this is just a small update, but a little bit weird. So, Stephen Stearns, man of the year, he uses Telegram. You know te- what Telegram is? Yes. Yeah. What I learned about Telegram, I always knew it was like a little bit sus. I'm like, mm, but it, it could people also people use be, that for little cheat cheats. I didn't and, know that. Yeah, but crazy. I thought it was more like Discord or like just a way to like communicate, like WhatsApp or something. But no, it's I, hella sus. Dude. Yeah, I didn't know. I just mm-hmm. learned. So it's encrypted. Mm-hmm. So no one can ever like retrace it back. And Telegram has come out and said that they have never given away any data to any anyone to any government agency. Nothing. This motherfucker. Some I just don't know how that's legal, though. Real quick. Don't know how that's legal. Go off. Isn't that impeding an investigation? You're saying with, like, if they give Telegram a subpoena? Probably. I don't know. Maybe they're based in a different country. Or maybe they literally just don't keep records. They're like, it's gone, dog. But where? It's going somewhere. Get the fuck up out of here. I will find it. Or find I it. will fucking find <laughs> it. I will hack Telegram, allegedly. The, the new update. But it's between like 1130 and 1159, I'm going to say. I forget the, the exact The night of her time. birthday? The birthday night. He's on there. Why? I know I'm not giving you much because this is No, isn't... because you, you know where my head's going. Well, that's here. To get rid of her, to traffic her. With the whole ring thing that we were talking about, the, that theory. I watched. Because encryption, dog. I watched a YouTube where it's like the vigilantes go and bust like the uh, people trying to solicit kids for sex. They're not cops. They're not, it's like Chris Hansen, right? Mm-hmm. But it's just YouTubers. And they go and they like corner this guy and the guy is like old man and he like thinks he's arrested. Like he thinks these are the cops. So he's not like leaving, you know? But they obey all the rules. They're like, oh no, like you, I mean, you can go, you man. Go, but man. I think you should probably talk to me, you know? So he ends up talking for like three hours. He gets hooked in this whole thing with, from Instagram to Telegram. And there's rooms and rooms and rooms and rooms. Where that's all that people are doing. 
And that's how I knew about what Telegram was really about. But I didn't know you, it was like not encrypted. But he said specifically this man who was caught trying to meet up with an, a little girl. He was also caught with all the files, same like Stephen Stearns. He specifically outlined how it worked on Telegram. And that's exactly where they exchange this stuff. Mm -hmm. So was Stefan, did he do something to her that night and posted the was picture? Was posting pictures? Did he get a picture and then do that? Is it a picture of her dead body? Some other podcast this week talking about Jen Soto must have worked nights. And we've already talked about this, but I just want to bring it up again. If she worked nights, how did she talk to Maddie when she got home and talked about her gifts and all how she had such a fun day and she showed me her gifts? Because then that's saw what, her the next morning. Because that's what she said in the in her interview. In the interview is that, oh, the last time I talked to Maddie was when she got home from the party and she talked about her gifts and how she And then talked to her the next morning. And then she that was the last time she talked to her and then she saw her getting ready for school the next morning. How late is Maddie getting home from the party, right? It looked like the party it was the birthday cake and the thing. It's like sundown. So like six or seven. So from that time to wrapping up the party and the gifts and the thing, it's a school night on a Sunday. Let's say, you know, the party's over at nine. L late, latest, I would say, they drive home with Stephen Stearns. Maybe they get home at nine, maybe 10 o'clock. And he's on Telegram at 1130. And no. Jen's there. Jen's there because she talked to Maddie when she got home. I'm telling Sick. you, man. Sick. I still want to investigate Tamagotchis. Like, I need to know how these motherfuckers communicate. Yeah, that shit's wild. I also need to stop clapping, but I'm just so, because it's hard when I edit, but I'm just so upset. Yeah, so that was the update there. The last update that I have is Mr. Puff Daddy. He did a Sean Combs, big dad, I don't know what else they call him. Puff Daddy? Fucking nasty Ciroc daddy. Man. Oh, yeah, he is yeah, Ciroc. He's Ciroc, oh, bro. I forgot. This motherfucker's all over the place. Oh, he's children, alcohol. He's got Definitely. it all. Dude. He, he's got it all. Like we were saying in the car, the pipeline from millionaire to billionaire starts getting fucking weird. Y'all start, start doing some weird shit. You start shit. going to see the Titanic under the sea. You start going to Epstein Island. You start going to Antigua, where Diddy allegedly is trying to flee to. Right and the now. weird, the weird uh, property here in California that. It does all the weird shit. Which one? Is it like Illuminati shit? Is yes, it it's like Illuminati. Yeah, it's like Illuminati shit, and they just type, do weird did parties. Did you type that in? Like put like celebrity sex party property Illuminati. Dude, you're getting so flagged by the fucking FBI right now. <laughs> They're Listen, like, if I if, sus meter <laughs> <laughs> on my VPN. God damn it. They're coming. They're going to raid me. Sex clubs. Bohemian Grove. Yes. Yes. Okay. I've never heard of this. A private gentleman's club known as the Bohemian Club hosts more than an, a two week encampment of some of the most prominent men in the world. No, nah, dog. You're all trash. You ain't shit. All Sorry. male membership includes artists and musicians, as well as many prominent business leaders, government official, former U.S. president, senior media executives, and people of power. Members may invite guests to the Grove, either for the Spring Jinx in June or the main July encampment. I'm sorry, Spring Jinx? Encampment? Encampment? Bruh. You're telling me I'm paying to get encamped? Bruh. And they just do freaky shit. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to have a new wormhole. Yeah, I've never heard of this. It's fucking I've crazy. I've lived in California my entire life, and I've never heard of this. They do, like, blood drinking party. Oh, my all God. All of the shit. All Adrena the Adrena Chrome, Chrome. All oh, of it, dude. Yeah. You're going to oh love God, it. I'm going to love it. You're going to love it so much. Maybe I've been there. Hey, you never know. Maybe I'm going. Hey, <laughs> sign me the fuck up. <laughs> Literally, we're getting flagged and probably raided in any moment. So we should probably wrap this <laughs> yeah. on that note. Um, yeah, Diddy, fucking more to be revealed. If you haven't seen it, see it. The, there's five lawsuits out. One of them is settled. That's one with Cassie. They settled it outside of court the next day. But isn't 50 Cent coming out right now? I 50 heard, Cent's been shitting on Diddy for years. I heard that there's a docu coming out. Yes, he's been working on it. And everything that Cat Williams said, he literally there's said. There's truth in jokes. 
There's truth in jokes. No, not in his, well, his jokes too, but the recent interview. With, oh, I haven't seen with it. With Club Shay Shay. The 80 million people have watched it. Oh, Three well, hours. not one of them. You, yeah, yeah, I don't know. You were like Under- traveling around the world to okay. come here. Sick. He basically exposes all of Hollywood and just says the truth and how he was painted out to be crazy all of these years. And in reality, he's never done a hard drug in his life. And he is the most intelligent person I've ever listened to in my entire life. Yeah, his persona on stage is not who he is. And we we have a hard time separating that. And the persona of what the media made him out to be, fighting people, drugs, losing his kids. He said, I've been arrested 17 times. I've never been in jail once. Make it make sense. They plotted this whole fucking thing against him once he started speaking out. Look at Britney. Look at um, Corey Feldman. And when he started saying this stuff about child actors being touched, and we were all like, bro, you're crazy. Now look, now look at Quiet on the Set, which, by the way, fifth episode. They're dropping Wait, a fifth is that real? episode. It is absolutely real. And Drake Bell is going to come back on it. And they, um, they confirmed another cast member from all that. Whoa. Bruh. Bruh. I hope Jeanette McCurdy or Amanda Bynes comes on this motherfucker. I would lose my shit. Whoa. Fifth okay, episode. okay, that makes me feel better because I just felt like unresolved. Yes, yes, that like there was more. They did that shit on purpose. You know, Discovery always has those cliffhangers. You know. Look at Natalia. Look at Natalia Grace Part Two. Oh, well, more to be revealed. Yes, I can't. More wait. sus to be sus. More feet to be foot. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And that's on. That's it. That's on suspects. Until next time. Yeah. Stay curious. Stay vigilant. Stay inside. Like, don't stay to yourself. <laughs> like, literally. I don't know what else to say. You think you're safe? No. I don't either. <laughs> Until next time. Until next time. Stay curious and stay skeptical. Bye.